These are all examples of different environments. Let's have a closer look. Coasts are where the ocean and the land meet. They are made up of various landforms, including beaches, bays, cliffs, headlands, estuaries and deltas. These landforms are created by erosion. As waves crash, they pick up sand and rocks, which rub up against the shoreline and break it up further. This process is called abrasion. In some places, the rock is weak and is crushed into small pieces. In other areas, the rock is stronger and able to resist erosion. These strong areas of rock become headlands, which have steep, rocky cliffs. In between headlands, there are bays, which have sloping beaches. Tides also affect the coastline. Tides are the result of the gravitational pull of the moon and the sun on the water in the ocean. Tides change the depth of the water. Areas that are underwater during high tide are exposed during low tide. Coasts are home to many animals, such as seabirds, crustaceans, and fish. Coral reefs are usually located just off the coastline in tropical areas. They are completely underwater and form in shallow waters that sunlight can penetrate. Coral is made by organisms called polyps. As polyps die, they leave a limestone sediment behind, which becomes the coral we see in reefs. This process proceeds very slowly, so a piece of coral existing today could have been in the process of being made for hundreds of years. An example of a coral reef is the Great Barrier Reef, which exists off the coast of northeast Australia. It is the largest coral reef system in the world and consists of 2,900 distinct reefs and 940 islands. Scientists believe it may hold up to 400 species of coral, 4,000 species of mollusks, and 1,500 species of fish. River water comes from underground springs and rainfall. Rain that falls in the area surrounding a river runs over or through the soil to the river. Springs can create small streams, called tributaries, that join to make a larger river. Rivers are home to animals, such as freshwater fish, and insects. Rivers are very important to the land's ecosystem because they provide a place for animals to find water and also provide fertile soil which allows plants to grow both in their natural form and on farms and grazing areas. Rivers are also important to humans for both domestic and industrial uses such as using them for shipping channels. Rivers can affect the land in different ways such as valleys which are formed when rivers cut channels. When a river cuts through the coast to enter the ocean, the land around it can be changed. One thing it can do is to create a delta. Deltas are deposits of sand and silt that build up as a very large river enters the ocean at the river mouth. When the river reaches the flatter ground along the coast, it slows down and deposits its load or the material that it is carrying. A rainforest, by definition, is a forest that receives at least 100 centimetres of rain per year. Rainforests can be in either tropical or temperate areas and are home to thousands of different species of animals and plants.